How do male and female birds reproduce? Hello, curious minds. Today, we're taking a fascinating journey into the avian world to explore the ins and outs of bird reproduction. Let's unravel the mystery behind how male and female birds reproduce, an intricate process involving a mix of courtship displays, nesting habits, and, of course, the magical process of egg laying. Let's embark on this exciting journey. What are the preliminary steps to bird reproduction? Bird reproduction is not just about the physical process but also involves a series of intricate and fascinating behaviors. The first step usually involves courtship rituals, where the male bird attracts a female. The specific rituals vary widely among different bird species but may include singing, dancing, and gift giving. Once a female bird has selected her mate, they often construct a nest together. The nest serves as a secure place for the female to lay her eggs and for both parents to care for the young birds once they hatch. The construction and location of these nests can be incredibly diverse depending on the species. How does mating occur in birds? Most bird species lack sexual organs like those found in mammals. Instead, they have a structure called a cloaca, an opening used for excretion and reproduction. During mating, the male and female birds press their cloacas together in a cloacal kiss. This allows sperm from the male bird to transfer to the female bird. This process is known as cloacal copulation. Some bird species, most notably waterfowl and ratites, do have a penis-like organ that assists in the sperm transfer during mating. Despite these anatomical differences, the fundamental process is similar across all birds, the transfer of sperm from the male to the female. What happens after mating? After successful mating, the female bird will begin to produce eggs. The eggs are fertilized by the male's sperm inside the female's body. She then lays the fertilized eggs in the prepared nest. The number of eggs laid, known as a clutch, can vary significantly between species, and even between different instances of breeding within the same species. Once laid, one or both parents typically incubate the eggs by sitting on them to keep them warm. The heat from the parent bird's body stimulates the development of the embryo within each egg. What happens when the eggs hatch? After a specific incubation period, which differs from species to species, the young birds, also known as chicks, hatch from the eggs. Initially, these chicks are often incapable of fending for themselves and require feeding and protection from their parents. Depending on the bird species, the young may stay in the nest for several weeks or months, gradually learning to fly and feed themselves. In some species, once the young birds are independent, they leave their parents' territory to establish their own. And there you have it, the astonishing world of bird reproduction. From courtship rituals and cloacal kisses to egg-laying and rearing chicks, birds exhibit a diverse and sophisticated range of reproductive behaviors. We hope this peek into the avian world has left you with a deeper appreciation of these remarkable creatures. So, the next time you see a bird in the wild, remember, there's a lot more to their story than just flying and singing. <laughs>